Everyone, it's Justin Creek from Historic Columbus with another episode of Tuesdays with Justin. This Tuesday, we're continuing on with our theme of exploring Women's History Month in Columbus. And in order to do that, I wanted to invite our Executive Director of Historic Columbus, Elizabeth Walden, with me today to, to be featured in this video. But Elizabeth is the content creator for all of the weekly history spotlight emails that she sends out each week. And if you're not on that email list, you should be because they're really interesting and informative. And uh, one way to get on that list is just hop on our website and submit your email address and all the previous History Spotlights are chronicled there so you can go back and look at previous uh, emails. But for today's video, what we wanted to do was kind of bring you behind the curtain of where we find the research and history that we use to produce both these videos and the History Spotlight emails. And it mainly comes from the books that are shown right here with us. Um, there are about seven or eight resources that we continually rely on and, and open up to find additional information about historic happenings and people and places in Columbus. Interestingly enough, they are all written by women, um, so that fits nicely with Women's History Month. This book here is uh, Columbus on the Chattahoochee. It was uh, written by Etta Blanchard Worsley and is one of the best resources when uh, trying to find out information about early Columbus history. And then uh, kind of to round that out to modern day times from civil rights all the way up to contemporary, um, contemporary times, Virginia Causey's new book, Red Clay, White Water and Blues is a great resource. And so we will list all of the titles and authors of these books in the uh, description below. So check those out if you want to uh, come to our office and, and take a peek at these, you're more than welcome to. Just give us a call and we'll set up an appointment. But uh, with that, we will see you all next Tuesday.